Hey guys, welcome back to Ian Blue Music. Today we're going to be going over how to use the plugin Vocal Bender by Waves. All right, so let's just hop right into it. I've got Vocal Bender pulled up here. This is a vocal plugin from Waves, and it kind of copies or emulates Alter Boy by Sound Toys, which is a pretty popular plugin. This does pitch and format for vocals. If you don't know what format is, we'll go over that in this video. I'm gonna go over how to use it and everything about it, really. Starting from left to right, we've got this flatten selector, this pitch knob, this link adjuster, format, and the wet dry mix and down here is the fine. All right, so this is going to be affecting the pitch. It doesn't auto tune. This is not an auto tune plugin. This is not a tuning plugin, but it does act in some way similar to auto tune. So these vocals have been pretty well produced out, but we'll go ahead and mess with these individually. First flatten, and you're gonna notice pretty quickly what it does. It's pretty obvious. All right, it is flattened. It is only doing the note that is selected here. And you can hear it misses sometimes. If you listen to it, you'll notice it's not always tuning to quite the right note. Sometimes it's the original pitch. Select a pretty wide range of notes here, all the way to B3. All the way down to C2. When you would use this, it's up to you. It's a creative decision, maybe as a, a background vocal, maybe as a heavily affected vocal, but it's gonna give you one note for the whole performance, for the whole audio track. So maybe this will be better for hip hop or something more experimental, but just give you an idea what it does. I'm gonna turn that off, go to pitch. Pitch, pretty obvious, it adjusts the pitch in real time. The cool thing about this is that it's a real time plugin. Obviously I could go into the audio file here and adjust the pitch, but no, this is a real time pitch modulate it. You can automate it. Now you'll notice uh, I just did the octaves because it's the only one that's going to sound good for this scale, but it's only jumping by whole semitones. So it's not smooth. If you go to fine, this is going to uh, work for pitch and format. Hit fine and it'll go between and you can just run sense. For pitch, I don't really use that too often. However, for format, this fine selection is actually really important. Before I get to format, there's this little link selector here, and you can use this to adjust both in unison. So let's get into format. What format filtering is, and I can't necessarily explain the uh, the science behind it, but it's making the vocal sound deeper or higher, the pitch sound deeper or higher, without actually affecting the notes that are being sung. So it almost makes it sound a little bit more nasally or a little bit, uh, well, I'll show you here. You hear it start to get a little bit chipmunky. It's still the same pitch though. It's still the same note. Now, this isn't a perfect format filter. However, there isn't anything better that comes stock with uh, FL Studio. I think the only thing that you have as available is Pitcher. And personally, I've never found the Pitcher format filter to be super useful. This is super useful. This is the kind of effect you'll hear in a lot of dance music. You'll hear it in a lot of hip hop. And it's just fun to have to do layers, to affect ad libs, whatever it may be. There's a lot of different creative ways to use it or even use it on your main vocal. You can just set it to a certain setting here or you can actually automate it. The last thing is going to be the mix, the wet dry knob here. So if I give it to about 500 cents here, and then I adjust the mix to half. That's a really easy way 
to layer your vocal it really thickens things up maybe you want the octave say you want the octave up do that in the format so this is a great tool if you click this little arrow, you drop down into this automation and modulation panel. All right, so it's got a couple LFOs, amplitude modulator, and a pitch modulator. Okay, starting from the left here, the first LFO, you'll notice it's already running down here, and you can just drag that onto the three dials here, pitch, format, or mix. So I'll drag it onto pitch. Now you notice it hasn't done anything. If I click the M1 there, I can turn up the power here and you'll notice how high it's turned up so that's with it all the way up personally i don't find this super useful there's one thing you can do and that's do like vibrato almost there's a bunch of different settings here you can uh, change the rate of it you can change the phase depending on where you want the lfo to start the new warp you turn up warp it plays quickly and then slows down uh, just different things you can mess around with and then you can even get this pencil here you can draw whatever lfo shape you want but these aren't sounding good right that clears it out you go into this file and select any lfo um ton of options here really for me the triangle or the sign are going to be the best and the sequencer is also here uh, this could be useful but uh, it's up to you this is just sequences rather than lfos might be better for format filtering. All of this is actually probably going to be more useful on the format side of things. M2 going to be the same thing as M1. So I'm not gonna go over this. Amplitude is going to be following the volume of the vocal track. It's going to affect the modulation. So that means the louder it gets, the higher it's turning that format filter up. The attack and release of this modulation, you can adjust here. You'll notice it's a pretty quick attack release. I can turn it way up, the release way up. So it almost barely moves it with the attack that way. There's a shorter attack, but a long release. It takes a while to get all the way down. And the level that you want that to affect the format filter. The last one we have is pitch modulation. This is going to read the pitch of the vocals, and then it's going to use that to set this your modulation. So the higher the pitch, the higher the format. We'll check that out. And so there you have it. Everything about how to use Vocal Bender. I know this is a little bit of a longer video for such a short plugin, but hopefully this tells you everything you need to know so you can get started using this plugin in your mixes. Hopefully that gets you started with Vocal Bender. If you have any questions on anything I covered or anything at all, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you next time.